Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Parth Rati and in this video, we'll talk about why to give November INICT very seriously, who should be giving, how to prepare and how to go about everything under one roof. Let's get into it. One heads up, only if you're damn serious about your preparation, then only go and watch the entire playlist which I will ping here so that you can always go through and unfold every single smallest element possible for the INICT that we have curated and put our 110% into it so that you can come into your dream ranks, into top 500 ranks for this November INICD, which includes specific videos on how to approach question bank, how to bookmark question bank, how to approach GTs, how to analyze GTs, how to plan and make the entire timetable, how to revise the revision notes, how to prepare the irrespective revision cycles that you might have to go through for November INICD and much more coming every week into this playlist. So, Please, I would recommend if you are a person who are even thinking about November INICT, I would suggest just go through that playlist. It will help you to come into this mindset and give your best performance then. Coming back to the agenda of this video that why you should be giving November INICT in the first place. Number one, the rolling momentum. Already we are, have just given the NEET PG exam. We have just completed our most productive days. We know our subjects very well. We are in touch with all the 19 subjects. Although we have taken a short break, but I understand it's going to be much more easier to come back into those momentum because it's not that far away. And all the weak spots, all the mistakes that you have made, everything is fresh in the mind and you'll be able to just tweak the preparation a bit, put more paddles into some more places take off the paddle from some place where it is not that required from INICT, not yet high yielding and just give your all into it. Okay. See, INICT is a high stakes exam. We all know we require intense, aggressive, high discipline study to be in the top 500. Otherwise, there's not a big opportunity of giving INICT exam. I meant truly said that you don't need to start great. You need to start to be great. So let's just keep the momentum up. Keep rolling and let us just start with the journey. If we are trying to keep November INICT even as an option for us, this is the time to start. Number two, AIMS. AIMS is literally the dream of every damn medical student. Be it from government or private or from AIMS UG, everybody would love to get into the AIMS for a PG program. Also, doing PG from AIMS will definitely help you more than doing UG because it will help you to carry that tag. Most of the branches could be end branches. So it always helps you to stand out and start on a very good journey in a private journey as well because it will help you to stand out from the, your peers and your competition as well. Is the number three, the edge that we get from NEET PG. So NEET PG has already helped us to consolidate and to keep all the data, all the last moment things, all the images, all the FMT sections, everything we have, the ready-made material we have in hand. Okay, we just need to tweak it a bit. We just need to put a little more time into some areas and little less over the less areas. So like that, we'll be able to come up with at least two more cycles before INICT and we'll be set to rock into INICT as well. The top rankers who have performed extremely well in NEET PG have already will go ahead with counseling and will go ahead with taking the seats. The bottom most rankers will not be as enthusiastic as and hopeful as compared to the middle rankers for giving INICT. That's what I'm saying is that the middle rankers have the best shot right now. I would say about 1000 to about 10,000 to 15,000, but there is no particular set limit because people are able to come with a great comebacks even with two or three month preparation if they are doing it well. INICT is a little more predictable exam as compared to NEET PG. So definitely people who are much more aware, much more confident, much more self-aware and have good kind of call solid concepts will be able to fly through the exams if they give enough time and preparation. For previous day questions, you can refer to Reflex, which has all the set of previous day questions from INICT and NEET PG all under the same roof. It has come with a completely different update now with a much more elaborative explanations next to the questions and answers. Also with the 42 minute sections, so that it will help you to prepare for the section wise exam that might come into the final exams. Also with a new subscription plan of just about three months costing about about 400 rupees for just three months subscription. I think it's a good shot if you want to take for the last minute preparation if you're not prepared for your previous year questions. Trust me, all the mid rankers are into the same boat of uncertainty and in dilemma. If you think you have a shot, a clear cut shot in need PG counseling, go ahead, don't give an INICD. But if you think that you might or might not get and you want, you might have to give another exam, another attempt, then I would say, please, Give certain period of time of the day into the NEET PG preparation for the rest of the day. Start preparing for November INICT very seriously. You have to be in top 500 to get the best possible ranks, the best possible seats. Otherwise, INICT will not, will just eat you up. So uh, we have to be aggressive. You have to be uh, very proactive. You have to be high in spirits. Luckily with NEET PG, the momentum is not going to be that tough to come back into. 
and uh, will be able to come out through with a very good resource with a very good determination and self awareness and a good relatable mentor so i hope the resource part is already taken care with the neat pages just we have to tweak it a bit all the video that i have talked about is going to help and the master class playlist is going to help you a lot with the resource preparation and that uh, self awareness is something that you need to ask yourself if you are up in the spirits and you know you are sounded sound minded you know your weak spots you know where to put a little more paddle to come into the zyni ct journey do like the video if you feel that it helped you in make you informed and help you to make much more aware about the situation that if you are in the dilemma do spread the word if you with the study gang comment if you like any particular topic you want me to cover next until then stay calm and keep enjoying